What's going on my friends? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U. Um, today I have a question that I want to answer and somebody recently asked me, why do uh, the prongs on receptacles actually look different? Why are like want some of the slots bigger and some of the slots smaller? If you notice, this is a 15 amp receptacle. This is a 20 amp receptacle. There's a difference between them in that there's one horizontal uh, blade that can be inserted into a 20 amp receptacle where a 15 amp receptacle will only allow for vertical uh, plugins. So uh, if we have a 15 amp cord, we can only plug it into a 15 amp receptacle. Whereas if we have a 15 or a 20 amp cord that has a horizontal blade, we can fit both of those into this receptacle, but you could not put that 20 amp horizontal blade into this device. And they do that because they don't want you over driving something or over uh, using something beyond the rating of its use because you could actually melt the face of this if you run too much current through it and the breaker doesn't detect that there's too much current. So there actually is a problem with uh, people, usually during the winter months, they'll, they'll plug in um, space heaters to these 15 amp receptacles. But back at the panel, they'll have a 20 amp breaker on a 20 amp circuit. And the only thing that's not 20 amp rated is this. So there might actually be like 18 amps of current running for hours and hours and hours while that space heater's on. But this 15 amp receptacle is not meant to hold it. So that 15 amp receptacle will start to melt over time. We see that all the time uh, in the winter. So just something to consider. You could just put 20 amp devices in everything because that 20 amp is rated to handle that much current through it all the time. It's not going to overheat the metal in here enough to melt the plastic. The other side of that is why do these receptacles have uh, one side that's bigger than the other side? They're not the same uh, slits basically. And if you look at some cords, uh, there are different kinds of cords out there. So these are both 13 amp cords. Uh, they're just pretty standard. Like this is a, um, a standard size cord that you're gonna find for most things, for even appliance cords and things like that. But a lot of the uh, front sides of them are different. So like this one specifically has a larger prong and this one, the smaller prong. And what it does is it just tells you which polarity you're gonna be plugging this in so that you can keep your hot and your neutral on the same polarity. Now, a lot of times with a two prong cord, it really doesn't matter. Either way you plug it in, the, the motor would run the same way or a light's gonna turn on the same way, but you are reversing the polarity of the actual conductor. So it's more of a technicality kind of thing. So the cords are telling you with the larger prong, the one that's fatter is the neutral and the, the uh, other one is the hot. So when they put the prongs like that, you can't physically insert it any other way than the way that it's supposed to go. But not all cords are like that. So this is another 13 amp cord. This one just has a ground. This is a, uh, a two wire cord. This is a three wire cord. So it's still only a 13 amp uh, cord, but they don't actually give you uh, a fatter side on this. Again, there's only one way you can plug this in, right? Like you can't screw that up. Um, but that's really the reason. The larger prong two lets you know out in the field installing stuff, that's neutral. The smaller one is hot. Obviously the bottom one's ground. So while I was uh, digging through my shop just to find this stuff, I figured I would talk about different kinds of receptacles. So this is what we would call a single receptacle. And this is a duplex receptacle. If you were to put two duplexes next to each other, you call that a quad, or that's what we in the South call a quad receptacle. So in one box, you've got four actual uh, devices inside of it. Uh, you'll notice that there's two different styles, right? So like these are essentially the same thing. They're both 15 amp duplex receptacles, but this one is uh, what we call a standard receptacle. And this is what we call a decor receptacle. These are really nice. They're a lot more people are using them than use these. Um, just because of the clean look and you know, you can have uh, a switches, receptacles, GFCIs, all kinds of devices with the same exact plates. So you don't have to go buy separate plug plates and separate switch plates for every single thing. Um, so those are things that you're going to come across. And then also, if you'll notice on these, these are uh, 250 volt uh, receptacles. 
So they're just different variations of receptacles, but you see the prongs, it's a similar thing. Like this one has an L shape. So the prong on, the, on that ground will be an L shape, whereas this one's just gonna be a normal uh, round ground. But the blades are all three the same size. So really it's not just these receptacles that do that. All receptacles across the industry are made for specific uh, types of applications. So like this one is a 50 amp 125 or 250 volt rated receptacle. That means that it is a 50 amp receptacle and you can either run 125 volts in it or you can run up to 250 volts. So a lot of receptacles are rated in 125 and 250, just 120, 240, same thing. Yeah, those are all just nominal numbers that we speak in. So if somebody says 250 or 230 or 240 or 220, they're, they're talking about the same thing. They just don't realize that there's some of them are reserved for when we're talking about motors and some of them are for devices and so, you know, there's different reasons why we use different nomenclature. It's the same thing for 110 or 115, 120, 125. Um, but it's the same like range of use. So that's a 50 amp layout. So you know when you see one of these, it's like, oh, that's probably for a range, right? Like, a, like an oven would plug into something like that. Um, pretty consistently across the market, that's what these are used for. I think even on the packaging, it says range uh, receptacle. Um, this is something you're probably gonna see on a welder. So this is a 30 amp, 125 and 250, meaning that you can do 125 volts or 250 volts, but either way, it is a 30 amp receptacle. So it can handle 30 amps of current going through it, no matter what voltage you put through it. Um, you're always supposed to stay within the rating, obviously, but it is a three prong in a little bit different layout. So all these receptacles, there's multiple different styles of 30 amp receptacles that'll do 250 or some of them will only do 125. Um, sometimes you'll find a receptacle just like this that's 30 amps, so it's got two sideways prongs on it and it's uh, 250 volts. Some are 125 volt only, so that's something that you need to understand about receptacles is the layout of the pins actually does mean something and the reason why everything looks the way it does is because there's something that's supposed to plug into it and if you try to jam something in that doesn't fit, uh, you're not doing it right and you can actually damage the equipment. So, hope that helps. Thanks for the question. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Best can to use it and video.